dentro de um smart home de 32 milhões de dólares em Las Vegas com um elevador para carros. Gostei desse negócio, tá? Bandeira essa aqui, Malásia? Viajei? Bandeira essa aqui? Malásia o caralho. Que porra que é essa, cara? Nossa segunda bandeira? Pô, parece, tá? Eu olhei de... Tá ligado? Parece não? This week we're in Henderson, Nevada and about to tour this stunning, one of a kind modern mega mansion right behind me. This home is unlike anything we've ever seen on this channel. Eita porra! Aí, caralho! Vizinha essa maneira. Phenomenal views of the Las Vegas Strip and the house itself has really unique amenities like a rock climbing wall. Loucura, isso aí não tem como, desculpa. Nine hole miniature golf course. Interessante. Infinity edge pool, car elevator and many more amenities that we're going to see today. Now, specs of this home. We got four bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 12,822 square feet of interior space built on a 0.88 acre lot and this property is currently on the market for $32,500,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video and before we start our tour, I want to thank the owner and the listing agent, Ivan Share, for share. inviting us out here, allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. Gostei do que eu estou vendo. Uma boa. Fogo na porra toda, hein? É fogo em tudo, hein? House is located at the Estates of Seven Hills, which is an exclusive gated community that are only three homes located on this particular street. And from the street level, we have the gates opening up to this massive, spacious motor court. It has a very futuristic, modern design with these curved roof lines, overhangs, cantilevers, and I love the stacked pattern tile design that they have on the exterior facade, complemented with smooth stucco or different variations of tiles throughout. On my right hand side, we have these two garage doors opening up to a really unique space, which we're gonna see in a bit. This one right here uh -huh. opens up to the car elevator, which is another unique detail of this home. We're gonna see that later in the video. And following the motor cord, we have a nice water feature that sets the tone as you walk into the property. Covered carport here, ceiling is clad with beautiful wood paneling, and these two garage doors open up to the main garage. Parece um hotel, mano. Tá ligado? Essa essa entrada, mas parece um hotel, mano. About that later as well. Lastly, we have the skylight enclosed entry here, and as we come up to the entry and the main door, we have another water feature that sets the tone. And now, let's go inside. Vamos lá. O portão pivotante. Alright, everyone. Here we are at the entry. We got this massive 10 foot wide, 14 foot tall pivot door. Se for blindado. That's a center pivot that opens up to the entry. This is without a doubt probably the biggest front door we've ever seen on this channel. And this is just the beginning of this house because it has so many um, different amenities and features aqui, that we're going to see throughout. Now, the Será first thing we político? see is this open entry with this awesome water feature that runs from the first floor all the way up to the second floor. This whole assembly is Cara, built bonito, out of a bonito. stainless steel frame. Tipo assim, é, porra, é uma coisa de milionário, né? Essa girafa deitada na porta, tipo... Ai, caralho, tô aqui. É meio bregão. Se você tivesse isso na sua casa, era brega. Como ele tem na casa de bilionário, é pica, tá ligado? We have the water feature here with this beautiful glass tile that we're going to see throughout the property. Little Zen Garden. And right in front of us, we have Jardim the amazing Zen. views of the Las Vegas Strip. In fact, I want to take everybody there. By the way, of course, gorgeous chandelier above right at the entry. Bonito, tá? And over here, we can see the staircase going down to the lower level, as well as the second floor. Beautifully lit up. It's a full steel frame. And I mean, as you're going up or going down, you're looking at the amazing views. Also, this home comes with a commercial grade elevator. Every few minutes, it resets and goes down to the lower level. So as you walk into the property, you see the views immediately. Pô, essa ideia de resetar é boa, isso aí não? Não achei isso muito bom não, mané. Now, I want... Tá bem merda, né? Ou não? Porra, tipo assim, pô, subi pro meu quarto. Aí, pô, quando eu acordar, eu quero descer no elevador, eu tenho que chamar ele de novo, tá ligado? I want to take everybody here. We have the great room and the dining room on our left hand side. Ah, é pra liberar a vista. Caralho, que leitura, hein, pai? Tu teve a leitura perfeita. Pra galera entender o seguinte, so ó. This home comes with a commercial grade elevator 
Em um intervalo de minutos, ele reseta e volta para o primeiro andar. Então ele nunca vai ficar com a estrutura incomodando a vista. Lower level, so as you walk into the property, you see the views immediately. Now, I want to take everybody here. We have the great room and the dining room. Não, mas ele é porque ele não explicou quando ele falou isso. Ele não explicou isso como consequência. Eu não entendi assim, tá ligado? Ouvindo agora de novo, de fato, então, então parece. Entendi, tipo, no sentido de, tipo assim, pô, quando você entra, você olha, não... Você entendeu, né? Tá bom, faz sentido. Chega que ele tá falando da vista como uma outra parada, né? Não como uma consequência ali disso. Mó sofazão, caralho, um, dois, três, quantas pessoas cabem nessa porra? Caralho! Tile floors throughout. Linear gas fireplace with a massive TV right above it. And I love the stone cladding they did here. And this fireplace simply runs all the way up to the second floor. They have these origami pattern wall sconces to kind of light up this wall section. The ceiling height here must be like 25 to 30 foot with a massive ceiling fan. Esse ventilador, essa cara, essa porra ventila o quê, cara? Porra, o bagulho tem 10 metros de altura, cara. Right in the center. O que é que isso ventila, mano? Sacanagem. Nenhuma. Bagulho na casa do caralho. Overall, very impressive space. Open right off the entry, and right across we have the formal dining room area. Beautiful table set up. Não gostei não. A mesa não é bonita não. As cadeiras não são bonitas. Chandelier above with a recessed and lighting. And on our right hand side we have the built-ins all over. Cara, que porra é essa? Parece um chapéu de hockey, de, de hockey no gelo, de, de, de ouro. Shelving, LED lighting and my Mike, I know you're gonna like this. Let me show it here. Uh, I didn't mm. notice that earlier. The automatic upper cabinets. We always like those here. Absolutely. And I love the contrast they did here with a glass panel. Sempre para nada, mas é muito pique. Glossy panel on top. Now We also got a wine station again for the formal dining room area, and right on the other side we have the automatic sliding glass doors opening up to a balcony where you can look down to your rock climbing wall. How cool is that? Very nice. And uh, automatic door, you said. All of these doors are automatic in the house. Right? I think there are one or one or two doors that are not automatic. The rest of them are all automatic, and of course you have the automatic shades throughout. House is on a crestron system. You can literally control anything out of your phone. It's super cool. And we're also going to talk about that later. Great cara, space. Um capacete do and right aqui, on the cara. other side of this formal dining room area, we have this open glass claro vi, enclosed mano. wine cellar detail. And check this out. This fire feature, they call it Hell's Fire. It's basically an upside down fire feature with a fan inside and a suction on the bottom. So it creates this... Kind of incredible, one of a kind look. Yeah, I like it. Caralho, maneiro. Isso é maneiro. Uh, up before, but never going down. Never going down. This is the first time. Yeah. It's Vegas. You know. That's right. You can see these unique things. Now, we have the kitchen here, and we're going to cover that in a bit. But first, I want to take everybody through this hallway. Now we are on the other side of the formal dining room area. We got a powder room for this level. We have this agate wall that we've been recently Caralho, seeing. Caralho, é tão bonito. The back lit, fancy toilet setup. Que isso, cara? So now, this is a detail I want to cover here. We um have the urinal and throughout the bathrooms in this house, a lot of the bathrooms actually have a both toilet and a urinal. Pô, isso é pica, design, mano. Uh, which is something unique. Owner wanted to go this way. This is cara, vou te falar um bagulho, irmão. Cara, é, 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 mictório, cara. Era, eu, é, quando eu fiz o meu, meu escritório no Rio, meu escritório, eu queria botar um mictório no meu banheiro, tá ligado? Porque, pô, mas o mictório, cara, ele é o, ele é o, o local perfeito, cara pro homem urinar, tá ligado? Porque o homem e a sua piroca, eles precisam do mínimo de espaço possível pra fazer uma merda. A partir do momento que você tá com o teu pau na mão, você vai urinar, pô, irmão, tudo vira alvo, tá ligado? O chão, o teu pé, o, o tampo, a parede. O mictório, cara, ele é basicamente uma caixa pra tu enfiar teu pinto ali. Não tem erro, tá ligado? Não tem erro. Embora a gente... É, e aqui eu falo majoritariamente com homens, né, no meu chat, né, no YouTube até que não, quando vai pro Scott, tem um público feminino grande, mas, moleque, tem uma parada que às vezes a gente faz, que é mijar, e o mijo espirra no mictório e volta na nossa calça, pô. E aí você pensa assim, cara, eu sou um bosta, pô. Tipo assim, respinga, faz um... Você fala assim, pô, velho, que merda, pô, não é possível, pô. Eu sou um animal, pô. O que que eu tô fazendo? Eu errei, eu errei. Tipo assim, eu, eu não tenho erro, tá ligado? Então assim, eu particularmente, eu já falei essa porra, né, 
Passou, eu não sei quando foi esse momento da minha vida, né? Eu só urino sentado. Ponto. Não tem erro, irmão. Eu só urino sentado, tá ligado? Eu só urino sentado. Porque, pô, chega um momento que, pô, com 27 anos, com 30 anos, pô, tu não quer ficar tomando esporro da tua mulher, né? Da tua mãe, né? do teu pai. Falou assim, pô, meu pai tá aqui não, né? Meu pai, inclusive, é adepto, né? De urinar sentado. Porra, meu irmão. Pô, tudo mijado. E aí, tu, pô, tu limpa. Mas aí, pô, bagulho, tá ligado? Pô, não tem jeito, irmão. Sentou, celular, fica ali, urinei, tchau. Tá ligado? Pô, não tem erro, mano. Não tem erro. Em 2021, quem não mija sentado é maluco? Maluco, pô. É maluco da cabeça, pô. Quem mija em pé em 2021 é maluco. É maluco. Tá ligado? É maluco. Tá ligado? Pô, não sei que seja, seja o Kid Bengala, pô. Que aí você desenrola a sua piroca pra dentro do vaso. Se você conseguir desenrolar o teu pau pra dentro, aí beleza, irmão. Agora, se você for normal, pô, tudo te leva ao erro, pô. Tudo te leva ao erro. Bespoke home. Yeah. And that's that. We've seen it in uh, Não tem jeito. garages too. Uh, you're gonna Abre see esse Victoria pra mim. They're kind of interesting. Interesting. Absolutely. And we got a gorgeous pedestal thing here. You love this detail. Now, let me take everybody back out. And the room next door is a very impressive space because it is the movie theater. Puta this whole room is designed in a really futuristic way with the lines and LED lighting assim, and the cold light. Dá pra perceber que esses ricos são muito, muito bregas, né? Mas eu aceito essa casa, se me derem, né? In detail, I love the patterns that they have on the walls. With the LED lighting, it creates a beautiful reflection, but those panels also serve as the sound insulation for this room. We got the massive screen here, built-in speakers throughout. They are Bowers and Wilkins, which is a great brand. I wanted to mention that. The whole movie theater runs on a Macintosh system. And on this side, we have 13 recliner chairs with the color red. So it gives you that nice pop of color. Again, they're recliners, so they're all electric. And on the left-hand side, we have the refrigerator. On the right-hand side, we have the candy station. Cara, estação oh, de doces. Great movie theater. Also, it is a little bit spacious, and we have this front section here, in case you want to lay down and watch the movie there. Pô, não é pequena tela não, gente. Chair, yeah. You can do that. But the chairs are very comfortable. Super comfortable. All right, back to the hallway. Let's continue our tour. We have a small office here. Check this out. Owner. Pô, cara, é impossível esse cara... Na entrada tinha um quadro Continue dele com o Trump. Tour. Aqui tem outro quadro do Trump ali, pô. É porque vocês não estão conseguindo ver. Vocês estão conseguindo ver? Olha ali. É um político, pô. Tem um Trump aqui. Pô, pior que aqui parece um outro político, mas eu não sei quem é. Você conseguiu perceber? Eu não sei quem é esse cara, eu sou burro. We have a small office Bom, here. Isso. Check this out. Owner told me this. Isso aqui é sacanagem, pô. Detail that I thought. Isso aqui é da, é da segurança. Isso aqui é da segurança. It was a really unique detail. So it's a little office for this level, right? He put these uh, brackets here. So when he throws parties, he just puts a rod here. That's a coat hanger. Coat closet. That's right. That's right. Cool. Nice. Convenience and going in, same tile floor. Bush Reagan Kennedy. Details. Yeah, so Opening this Kennedy. up, we have a laundry room. For this level, with the sink, some uppers, washer and dryer. Now, I want to take everybody to the other side. This is really cool. You ready for this, Mikey? We have the doggy room here. Que isso, cara? Caralho, olha cá. Mal com meu quarto, pô. What's so crazy about the room? Number one, it has its own split AC unit. Mm -hmm. Que isso, bicho? Number two, walls are clad with tiles, so you can actually water hose this entire space, clean it up very nicely. They have their own shower design here with a drain. They have their food and everything, right? They have their fan. The pot filler. Oh, hey, buddy. And there you go. He oh, well, oh, just oh, walked oh. in. I got to hold the door now. <laughs> this is... Ah, que bonitinho. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, they have their automatic door, which is super ah. cool. I mean, these dogs are living a good life here. Porra. They even have automatic shades. What good timing. Hey, guys. How are you? All right. We <laughs> Que maneiro, mano. Because we have a tour to do. I know they're going to try to want to escape. I'm holding them. There you go. Mikey, you got it? I think so. Caralho, pela primeira vez. O bagulho foge do script dele, tá ligado? All right, there you go. All right. Well, you guys Cara, saw... vida boa do caralho que os cachorros levam, mano. Eles passam ali pra dentro pro jardinzinho, né? But those are the dogs. They're super friendly. 
Um, and now let's continue our tour on this side. This Ooh. is where we have the main garage. As you guys can see, we have a few pretty cool cars in this garage. Ventilador ligado, foda-se, né? Sócio da Light, né? Tá nem aí. Bagulho tá puta que pariu pro carro não ficar com calor, né? Bentley Continental, that looks stunning. Lamborghini Huracan. A Lamborghini. You have your Ford Raptor here, Shelby Raptor. Caralho. It's a pretty... E é branco, tá? Pretty spacious garage, nicely tiled floors. Those are the two garage doors that opens up to the cover carport that we saw at the entry. And Mikey, let's show the built-ins here. Um the TV criança. setup. I don't know. It's super cool and obviously owner has great taste in cars and these are some beautiful cars. Now, there's actually a detail here I would like to point out. We have a key code entry here. You have the control panels of this one behind this door. You also have the reverse osmosis system behind this door. And what that means is that the moment city water comes to this property, before the tap distributes to fixtures, water gets filtered and it goes to the fixtures. So yeah, from uh -huh. showers, faucets, anywhere in the house, you can actually É a casa do dono dos Raiders. É, será? Drink the Faz sentido, Los Angeles, né? Water, it's super clean, and that's why throughout the property and throughout the rooms, you guys are gonna see that all the fixtures in this house looks in immaculate condition. They're... Los Angeles não é Las Vegas, né? Mas é... Ah, não, não, então não. Ué, é Las Vegas, são Las Vegas, né? Caralho, viaja aí, ué. They're not stained, or they don't have any residue on them. You can literally drink any water in this house, which is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight back to that water feature. Even um, the enclosed... Glass sections on like the walk-in showers, they're super clean for that reason. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready, Mikey? Let's go back to the walkway oh. and take everybody to the kitchen. The kitchen of this property. It's all open. We have white cabinets contrasting nicely with the darker base cabinets. And the first thing I want to... Maneiro, mano. Bonito, mano. Ué, foi meio extravagante. Né? Talk about in this kitchen is this crazy cantilevered island design. Now, this island sits on a massive I beam that is attached right where that sink is. Não tem nada so no chão thing... prendendo, mas que nervoso. It's floating, and it is so over engineered, but it looks awesome. Como é que essa porra fica? Bruna, obrigado pelos 10 gift subs, irmão. Tamo junto. Obrigado de coração. And they have a glass countertop with the bar seating, chandelier above. And speaking of lighting. I'm gonna talk about this. I mentioned it earlier, the whole house is on a crush on system, right? We have LED lighting underneath the staircases, dining room table, chandeliers, everything. With a push of a button, Mikey, why don't we turn around? You can literally change the lighting in this house. We currently have this subtle, uh, regular lighting, but with a push of a button here, this is when you're gonna see the darker tones with the reds. And there you go, you can see it on the top floors. Soon the dining room is gonna turn all red. Caralho! Yeah. And these light changes que isso, tem RGB, RGB course, na casa. And the owner of this home also owns a company called Eagle Century, which is a company that does a lot of these home automation systems here in Las Vegas. Ah. So he personally designed every single fixture, lighting Explicado. in this house, and they of course did a phenomenal job with it. I'm going to turn the lights back onto the neutral color that we started the tour with. And um Capim, luz embaixo da mesa ali. Um LEDzinho embaixo da mesa. He's selling Caralho. this home, and whoever buys it, he's giving one year warranty to that person. So if anything happens or anything needs to be fixed, he's happy to do those changes. And let's continue our tour with the kitchen. Tá bom, sai. We tá have a massive comprar, commercial size freezer and fridge here, small pantry space, and wrapping que isso, around Runa? this obrigado, kind of levered island. Caralho, mais 10 gift subs, tamo junto. Kind of a base main Pô, island muito obrigado with mesmo, a waterfall cara. and beautiful countertops. We have some built-ins here with the wolf oven, oof, your microwave oof. setup, that's actually a microwave, that's another oven, your espresso maker, and we have more cabinets on this side, again, push up a button, they all go up, and just like the rest of the home, we have lighting throughout the space, and here, your induction cooktops, your griddle, and we have the... Pô, olha o comentário do cara, pô, bem pra você. Kazé, se eu te falar que meu tio trabalha na segurança dessa casa, você acredita? Essa é, a casa de um dos, essa é a casa de um dos donos dos Raiders e o quadro dos presidentes dos Estados Unidos. Por isso o Trump aparece ali e o Joe Biden está do lado dele. Pô, Guilherme, eu não acredito. Você perguntou se eu acredito, eu te respondo. Não, Guilherme, eu não acredito. Sua foto de perfil é uma foto no espelho com a camisa do Corinthians. Você e o seu tio moram em Barueri. Você está inventando. 
Para com essa porra, cara. Pelo amor... Pô, qual é, cara? Tá de sacanagem. Teu tio é Coringão, teu tio não é Raiders. Não vem com essa. Mas você pode queimar minha língua, claro, evidente. Popular here, more cabinets, LED lighting throughout. And Mike, can we focus on the island? It's a cool detail. So number one. Você pode calar minha boca. Right? Number two. Where are the plugs? Okay. Pô, mano, little cover caralho, plugs, é uh, tudo automatizadinho, tudo detalhezinho, né? Okay. Caralho. Number two. Volta para ver o armário. In here, your induction cooktops, your griddle, and we have the popular here, cabinets, LED lighting throughout. And Mike, can we focus on the island? Bonito, armário bonito. So number one. Beleza, lavador. Right, number two. Where are the plugs? Volta mais. Ah, é o mesmo que tem antes, pô. And we have more cabinets. Ele toca e abre. Again, push up a button. They all go up. And just like the rest of the home, we have. Lighting throughout the space. In here, your induction... Essa porra tem a garantia de um ano, irmão. Mas deve ser aquele bagulho de... Deve ser aquele bagulho de... Depois de um ano também vai começar a dar problema pra caralho. Aí fudeu, pra tu okay. consertar tudo. Fudeu. Bagulho que só estraga depois que acaba a garantia. Tem uma porrada de coisa assim. This looks like a big panel door, like 30 inch door. You open it. It is the ice maker and the shelf. A lot of the times we see those shallow, shorter doors, right? Yeah. This time they incorporated the big door and a built-in shelf, so it's nice, ready to go. Wanted to mention that as well. Overall, very sleek kitchen, and uh, we have a full-size Sub-Zero wine fridge Caraca, here. Caraca, tem mais adega? Tem outra adega? Now, what's so special about this kitchen is this. We've been talking about these automatic doors. There you go, let's see one in action. Eu, assim, é foda, né? Porque a gente quer pressa em tudo, né? Quando você é bilionário, você não tem pressa de nada. Mas abre muito lentamente essa porta, né? Dá muita irritação. Super quiet, floor to ceiling. Of course, we have the automatic shades Porra, bagulho well. lerdo do caralho. And it takes us straight to the outdoors. And it starts right here. We have this massive island underneath the covered section. Mikey, let's get a close-up. I mean, look at this. Muito obrigado, Cosmos. Tamo Built junto, meu irmão. Obrigado pelos beats pela mensagem. Seating section that's floating, which is super cool. I'm assuming they have... Steel uh, plates. And it... Eu não sento aí nem fudendo. I need this countertop to kind of balance off the weight. Imagine like six people sitting here. That's a lot of weight. I'm not a light guy, and I sat on one of those, and I was I was confident that it was going to hold me. Oh yeah, I mean I tried them too. I just thought it was such a unique detail, and honestly, it makes the space feel bigger because they're not bolted to the ground, right? Yeah. It makes them open, easy to clean. Same tile floors continue to the outdoors, and uh, before we wrap around to the other side, we have a massive fridge here, grill setup, we have a pizza oven also, and before we continue to uhum. the island, I want to take everybody here, because Caralho, we have tem tudo, a half bathroom here for the pool area and the covered patio, marble countertop, this futuristic modern uh, drop-in sink, we have the toilet setup, another urinal, and we're seeing a lot of these patterns, tile walls, and we have another one over here. Mais um you sure that's it? It's not. Mikey, let's continue. I thought that was it. No, that's not it. Uh, we have an outdoor shower here for the pool area. And in case you're wondering where those dogs came Dali. from, dogs actually have Chama a ali. private backyard for them, which is Chama amazing. Aí, the owner even thought of that, meaning the automatic door opens up to a little patio space for the dogs. And that's where Olha they're coming from because they're like, we need attention. Yeah, they're like, come back and visit us, please. Yeah, yeah. Like, pet us. All right, let's go back in my key, continue our tour. That's it for the half bathroom. Back to the covered patio space. Now the other side of the island has the same plug covers. We have a sink here, ice maker, fridges, teppanyaki grill. Oh man. This been, is the dream. We've been talking about one of these since like, what, we started the channel two the and a half years the ago? Channel. It's probably like our third video. And I and I were like, this is a dream right here. This is what we want. Cara, Honestly, chupera, cooking chupera. breakfast, Porra, lunch, caralho. dinner, you name it. So cool. Yeah. And we have a kegerator here to kind Tem of find the whole cool. experience, you know? We have a ice cream machine unfortunately it it's, doesn't have any it doesn't have any ice cream right now but you live in vegas you look at these views you have the hot temperature hot que weather isso, you deserve an ice cream aí you know? me conquistou for sure 
Que não. isso, aí não. Aí é um passo... Porra, que é isso? Continues. Igual do BK que eu trabalhava. We have... Tá aí o Bolívia. Space heaters throughout the cover sections. Bolívia agregando. Massive TV with another gas fireplace. Some open shelving behind. But what's so... Caralho, tu tá vendo aqui um joguinho do Vasco. Porra, vontade de comer uma casquinha, mané. Aí tu vem lá. Chup. Puta que pariu! Pull about the space. And the Aí é demais. Aí that... derruba no sofá, They derruba no chão, escorrega. Heated patio floors. What I mean by that is, Mike, if you pan up to the ceiling, we have these screens that drop and encloses this entire covered patio section. That way, you can kind of block some of the cold air coming in to the covered patio, and then you heat the floors. And even during December, you can Salucura. comfortably enjoy the outdoor spaces in this house. All right, Mikey, turn around. Cara, chão aquecido Look at this. Doido. We have the whole Las Vegas Strip in front of us. You have the golf course. Super quiet and peaceful up here. Views are amazing. Cara, é, You're in a gated é community. Vista, não we also have the perimeter of this section. It's all fire pit. Really? So at night, you can light it up, get that flame Vegas view that uh, everybody loves. Let's continue our tour. Oh, now, man, the pool set up is super in mind, we're going to talk man. about that in a bit, but we may have something here that's probably cooler than the pool. Now, I'm not a golf fan myself, but even I was excited when I saw the space for the first time because it's tucked in in a perfect spot. I'm going to utilize it so well. In fact, I'm going to grab this thing right here. Take a swing. Take a swing, right? We got the golf ball here. Again, I suck at this. I'm perfectly lined up. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna try to act like I know what I'm doing and I have no clue. Um, my suit's super tight and here we go. Ah, and hey, as always, forte, I came in a little too hot. But uh, let's continue our tour, Mikey. I love how oh, intricate evil. this course is also. You have some ramps, you have some turnarounds. Uh, it's super cool. And continuing in this Cara, side, tá we saw the Infinity Edge pool. And we can see it a little bit better from this angle. They use the same glass tile that we saw at the entry of the home where cara, we have the water feature. Isso, you can cara. see the steel cantilever with the water. I mean, it's so né, cool. Mano? And on the Olha left hand casa, side, mulher. we can see the primary balcony hot tub design, which is crazy with the glass front. And while we're up here, let's talk about the exterior architecture from the back side. I mentioned it earlier, house has a very futuristic modern design. I love these curved roof lines with the standing seam metal paneling. We can see isso. the wood paneling underneath all these overhangs, glass railing é. throughout. O foda é isso mesmo. Pô, tu você fica animadão, ele dá um tibum aí na piscina, já alaga o teu campo de golfe inteiro. Se tiver gente jogando golfe ao mesmo tempo que eu pulo na piscina, eu acabo com a brincadeira. Aí é pra deixar todo mundo lá, já fica aquele clima de merda. Todo mundo puto comigo. Steel Só color. O cara, o Casimiro é foda, mas pô, não sabe brincar, mano. It's House looks so cool from this angle, and that's why we wanted to come down here, kind of give you guys a full experience. And uh, in case you're wondering what this is, this is the fire feature, and I'm sure it's gonna look incredible at night. So we're gonna see that hopefully later. Tá in the video. Né? De azul, azul sure. royal, né? Now let's go back to the staircase and continue our backyard tour from there. And by the way, another thing I want to mention: this house is kind of built on a hillside. And the edge that we were just on um is um all cased in concrete, as if the foundation being on a rock wasn't enough. They wanted to make sure everything was super secure, so they blasted concrete all around that edge. And the owner of this property told me that he literally hasn't seen a single crack in the home throughout, which is which is just crazy to think because this that home bem, is né? over 12,000 square feet. You have all this outdoor space and I haven't seen a one crack tile. I haven't seen a one crack drywall, uh, which just shows the quality of the build. Now, bem, I'm going to take everybody here. Não, By é the o... way, these are... É o mínimo, é o mínimo, mas... Quem tá ligado, tá ligado, né? Que o bagulho de gesso, às vezes, dá uma craquelada. Acontece nas melhores famílias. Mas 32 milhões também, né? De dólares the automatic screen that I've been mentioning. Check this out, Mikey, right here. We have an automatic screen that comes down because right behind you, we have a drop down projector. Sorry, I'm shifting you left and right. That's a projector right there. Cara, so it sense. goes down. So you have your first screen here. So nice. And there's another one Puta that I'm gonna show pariu. in a bit. Going down, we have this sunken section here. 
On my right hand side, we have the water feature clad with the same glass mosaic tile that we've been seeing throughout with the pop up TV because oh. we're facing the pool. That way, from your pool, you can easily watch TV. We have this massive glass assembly here. Cara, eu right gosto de casa assim, tá vendo? Aqui não tem nada pra fazer. O cara falou que dá pra ver dali, mas porra, aqui não é porra nenhuma. Bota, bota a TV. Tem um espacinho? TV. And that is the staircase and to tie in the whole experience with the water features, we have Meu. a fire pit right in the center. Now facing the other side, we have the sunken bar area porra. with countertops. Pô, como é que não dá pra ver? Dá pra ver pra caralho, porra. Porra, dá pra ver pra caralho. Só tem que, porra, fazer um drinkzinho. Nossa. Waterfall right in front of Vou meter o Pix, hein? Of us, incredible views, infinity edge pool, and while we are here, let's cover the pool as well. Same glass mosaic tiles throughout. We have Baja shelves on each side, so inviting, Cara, so exciting. Me... Oh. I mean, quem tá preocupado aí? Vocês estão preocupados com a conta de luz? A conta de luz aí, ó. Tá de brincadeira, moleque. Olha a quantidade de bagulho de placa solar. Each side, What? so inviting, so exciting. I mean, this is the Las Vegas lifestyle, you know? That's right. Now, let's go to this section. Now we have another seating area here, and we're gonna check that out in a bit, but essentially your backyard continues. More covered patio section with the space heaters, seating section on this side, and I actually- Pô, olha isso, cara, pô, olha isso aqui. Pô, essas, esse sofazinho aqui parece um cinzeiro escroto, cara, bagulho nada a ver, nada, porra, sei lá. I realize mano, I forgot não... to mention another detail about the pool. It não also has an pegou, automatic não. cover as well. Uh, more outdoor seating on the other side. Amazing views. And Mikey, you ready for this? 22 feet wide screen that comes oh, down. And we have a projector coming down from the ceiling. This is bonkers. This yeah. is crazy. Bonkers is a good word to describe it. I mean, like, is this real? Yeah. You know, you have this at your backyard and with a push of a button. Probably bigger than the movie theater. Probably, Mikey. Look at the scale here. Yeah, that's huge. It is so loucura mesmo. Yeah. Caralho. Of you have your built-in speakers and everything throughout. You can control the lighting. This is the full experience. Meu Just amigo. amazing. Mikey, let's turn to this side. The outdoor ah, covered patio imagine. continues. You have another TV Puta with another fireplace and another TV section. I love how they carried out that standing seam metal panels Toma. to the interiors as well or underneath Pelão. this covered patio. Those sliding glass doors open up to the gym. We're going to see that in a bit. And they have another island here with these Mas que cruzeiro. top attached Mas... seating sections. Mikey, can you wrap around it? We have this bar here with the shallow window Caralho, design. Lixeira, parece que é lixeira da rua, mano. Up, da rua. And the owner da told Disney, me this. Yeah. He placed in another kegerator that is facing this way. So you, he doesn't have to go inside. He can just come here, get his beer, go on with his day. He thought of everything. He thought of everything. Even the tracks have the marble pieces inside. Cara, que é bonito look. pra caralho. Okay. Let's go back inside. Let's do it. Esse bar Let's é bonito it. pra caralho. So automatic sliding glass doors here, currently open, opening up to a secondary seating area. And we got a gorgeous fireplace assembly here, clad with stainless steel, with a TV on top, and that pattern tile design that we've been Quanto seeing. Quanto tá valendo 32 milhões de dólares. Now, seating section, glass assembly, seeing the front of the home. And following here, we have an additional seating area with these sleek, um, chair setups Horrible. that looks really cool with a stainless Horrible. steel coffee table. And following here, we have the bar. Let's check that out, actually. Caralho, olha esse vidro, moleque. Parece de gelo. Caralho, muito lindo. Elevation. You have everything you need here from a dishwasher to an ice maker. Pô, olha o marmore, moleque. Design. Olha o marmore. I mean, you got it all. Ah, olha o marmore, right? olha o marmore. And going into this side, we have the gym. It's tá spacious room. We got all kinds of equipments here, ceiling fan above, and I always like these comfortable kind of rubbery flooring that they have in the gyms. It just makes the space Caralho, a little bit more comfortable. Isso, Sliding glass doors open up to the covered patio that we just toured. Overall, another great space that gets a ton of natural light. Now, wrapping around, we got a full bathroom here, floating vanity, isso power wrap bonito. Holes, pretty good size. Privadinha and pequena, mas out, é bonito. Mais uma TVzinha kind of aqui. Our tour Outra lá, now, a gente já viu no início. Check this out. We got this really cool here. Mikey, don't spoil the jogos. Everyone. Let's go straight in here. This is where we have Caralho, the car elevator for this home. Now, this is so rare and unique in my opinion because you have a car elevator in your house that takes your car straight to the second floor where you have the primary bedroom, which is amazing to think because you can just roll up the garage door, pull up your car here. 
Pô, mas assim, é uma pergunta meio idiota que eu vou fazer. Mas pra que, que você vai levar a sua Lamborghini pro seu quarto? Não peguei a... Não peguei a visão, pô. Que você é bilionário, né? Your second floor and go straight into your bed. You have that kind of convenience. It's also extra parking spot because once you have this car up on the second floor, you have this floor all open. Yeah. And uh, ah, Mike, can we show this like crazy steel assembly they have here with the gears and like how kind of crazy? Pô, tipo, mas eu só consigo ver uma situação que essa porra é útil. Pô, tu tá indo pra casa, aí pô, bate uma dor de barriga fudida, tu se caga. Aí tu cagou na tua Lamborghini inteira, tu cagou, cagou tudo, tá tudo cagado. Porra, você chega, estaciona o teu carro no teu elevador, sobe direto pro teu quarto e já vai direto pro, pro banho, pô, pra tomar um banho, pra se, li se limpar, tá ligado? Porque, caralho, qual que tem outra? Não tem, cara. Porra, me caguei. Caralho, beleza. Aí você sobe no elevador, já sai pô, pra ninguém da tua família, pros teus, pro teu mordomo. Fala, caralho, o senhor John Barton se cagou? Não. Você vai com o carro, tá ligado? Yeah. It's, Amazing, right? It's, it's pretty cool. We don't really see things like this in LA. I mean, this owner really wanted to design a home in a way that he really wanted, you know? And you have eles vão limpar o carro? Windows, é, mas eles the, tiverem cagado uh, fora. Elevator. From the inside of the home, you have your AC systems here. This is pretty incredible. Now let's head back inside to check out another incredible room, which Caralho! is the man cave. I'm gonna call it a man cave because it's kind of a game room. I don't think we've ever seen a room like this either. Olha isso, you moleque. have your futuristic, super cool looking pool table here, your uh, shuffleboard. shuffleboard. Thank Tem you. quatro televisões Air em cima, mais table. uma na frente. You have your uh, ceiling mount TVs, four que TVs isso, right moleque. in the center of the room. I feel like we're in a really cool sports bar. É, moleque, mas um bar. For this home. I like that the air hockey table, the shuffleboard table, and the pool table all have the exact same kind of design. Yeah, like it was definitely custom built. Even the furniture throughout the place. Right behind us, you have your, of course, poker table. And by the ah, way, the nada. homeowner has a lot of sports memorabilia art pieces and sculptures throughout the property. They all look super cool. I'm not much of a sport expert myself, so I don't really know, but they all look pretty cool to me. Caralho. And we talked about those curved roof lines. We can actually see them really well in here. They even brought that steel paneling detail. Que doideira, moleque. LED lighting, gorgeous fabricated parts of the up here, kegerator, fridge, ice maker. You have the whole nine yards. Amazing and continuing, of course, this room has, a, uh, has a Eu não sei de quem é. Mas é do Raiders. It's own bathroom, but I almost forgot this. ATM machine that works. Que é isso? So, well, the owner <coughs> uh, owns the ATM company. I think he owns a part of the ATM company, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was asking him about that earlier. It's pretty incredible. Pô, brincadeira, hein? So, if you have your friends over to play poker, They never have an excuse for not having money. You know? É, tem três Vince Lombardi aqui atrás, tipo, do Raiders, né? I feel like I'm out of work. Tem três troféus do, do Super Bowl ali, mas é em miniatura, né? Yeah. 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 Every corner I Eu look, there's é another detail. I'm like, oh, I have to talk about that. You have your urinal, uh, you have your um, floating vanity design here. Just Porra, isso é apertado, hein? Then, uh, Caralho. We have to look at this memorabilia. These are pictures of all Las Vegas gangsters not just las vegas gangsters but is it yeah we have i don't like, know my gangsters that well either i know I my gangsters you know <laughs> uh we have al capone we got mickey cohen we got these are all their real signatures which is which is wild God, Meyer Lansky, did, uh, this is a significant piece yeah it's 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 pretty wild actually it uh, says all their names right here in the middle there you go so if you want to pause it now you can have a look wow Amazing. It's overwhelming. So many Meu details. Deus, We got one more room. Ali, ó, hoje. Think, ah, Pô, eu não sei se é miniatura. Acho que é miniatura, sim. You know, you guys spoil all the surprises. Sei lá, hein? It cannot be just Acho as incredible é não, as the rest of the rooms we've seen. But it que is isso? welcome Caralho, to your moleque. basketball court. This is amazing. I mean, the fact that you have a space like this within your home, indoor. Pô, mas olha foda, mas tu tem uma camisa do Joe Montana ali. 
é, do Magic Johnson. Porra, aí tu é um, dá um airball fudido do Jordan, do Larry Bird. Is mind boggling. Bagulho, dá um airball. Yeah. Obviously, this is the garage. This is that massive garage door that opens up to the motor court. And uh, how cool is this space? You know what I feel like? I feel like I'm in a rich, rich movie. Yeah, it's Every wild. corner I look, there's a... This is a house with a cool feature, you know? It's just so fun. And here we have more sports memorabilia. We have all signed jerseys from Joe Montana, uh, Magic Johnson, Marcus Allen, Larry Bird. Marcus Allen eu não conhecia, não. And Michael Jordan. Esse do Jordan é sacanagem. Amazing. Yeah. You have the exposed ducks, the whole basketball court feel. And uh, we have some uh, built-in set up there. And the owner actually has really cool ali. segways. These are like the off-road segways. Uh, I have to try these. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to uh, get that in the end credits or something. I know. Yeah. But overall, this is it for the main floor. Essa casa é do Chicoin. Qual é? O Chicoin tá vendo a live? Não é possível. Cadê o Chicoin? O Chicoin ficou vendo a live, mané. Pô, eu acho que ele tá vendo a live, mano. Será que ele tá vendo a live? Ô, Chicoin! Tô! Ha! Ô, Chicoin! Tua casa aí, filho da puta! Mikey, can you pass the ball to me? Ih! Since we're out here. Moleque, imagina. Gotta... Joga o bagulho e bate no quadro. Give it a shot. As always, I'm in a tight suit. I'm probably gonna suck at this, but I'm doing it all for you guys. Let me give you a tip before you do it. Tell me. Aim with your eyes. Just look straight at the basketball hoop. Okay. And don't look at anything. Se ele cravar, fodeu. Anything else? Hmm. Se ele cravar, fodeu. Ai! You hit it this time, so. Vamos mais um! Vamos mais um! Vamos mais um! Vamos mais um pra gente ver! First floor of this home. Now let's go back inside. Take the stairs so we can check out the lower level. Oh. All right, everyone, here we are at the lower level of this home. Now, this part of the home is designed totally Não different from ainda. the rest. No. It feels like we just walked into someone's Tuscany mansion in Italy. We have stacked stone, reclaimed wood throughout, and we're gonna check out the space in a bit. But first, I want to talk about the elevator access here. Caralho, now, elevador, we talked about the elevator bonito. at the main floor, but é while you're on this level, né? going up to the second floor, the first thing you see is the view of the strip, which is super cool. But while you're going up to the second floor, you can actually see these uh, sculpture climbers that are hanging on these strings right next to the elevator, picking up this rock climbing wall theme on this level, which is such a cool, Ai, interesting detail, so I have to mention yes. that. Now, I want to take everybody on this hallway. We have these built-in barrel designs to make this space feel a little bit more rustic. We have them on the walls as well, some recess and shelving, and this door right here opens up to a powder room for this Só level. Vaso, we have another urinal, toilet set up, Olha we it on this side, Eu sou tile back wall, puri and this gorgeous stone pedestal sink design. Now, as I was looking at this bathroom, I was like, where is the handle for the faucet? Turns out, you just touch, and there you go. It's pretty cool. Super nice, right? Yeah. I wanna, I wanna talk about this this area for a second, though, okay. real quick. Like, it feels like we're kind of in like a whis whiskey cellar. I know. But uh, it's really cool. I love, a good, I love a good barrel decoration, you know? It's authentic, yeah. without a doubt. You have some open yeah. shelving here, all lit up. You guys saw the lighting details on the main floor. It just kind of ties in all these details and Good even the curved roof line. They brought those details in here as well with the ceiling. Now, following the hallway, é, it sozinho. takes us to the entertainment space on this level. It's fully decked out. You have your dual elevation bar Cara, with impactado. natural stone countertops. You have your ice maker, Tomando you have your dele. sink, dishwasher, Friozinho this. Fridge. Everything you need, right? Beautifully paneled. And they did a dual elevation by using this acrylic paneling, which allows them to light it up again with the LED lighting. Look at it. Can we turn around for a second? Aí. They have the stacked stone design on the walls, basically transitioning into this reclaimed wood design. Caralho, and I love how they left all the edges and kind of moleque. imperfections to create this natural look. Looks stunning. Yeah, it's really cool. All right. Right on the other side, we have the seating section, beautiful fireplace assembly, two more wine <coughs> fridges, full-size wine fridges, more open shelving. Pô, eu vou ser but sincero. More what makes this room so special and oh, different and unique? Ah, uh, não é essa porra de escalada, né? Yes, right here. Of course, we have another auto... Pô, vai tomar no cu. Pô, eu achei que aquele ambiente ali, você ia cair num ambiente da sacanagem, né? Um ambiente da sacanagem. Televisões para tudo que é lado, bar para tudo que é lado, polidense, 
porra, um bagulho diferente, porra. Aí tu cai num bagulho de velho, porra, com uma escalada. Escalada é o caralho, porra. Escalada, porra. Sou um bilionário, vou querer escalar o caralho, porra. Escala o caralho, porra. Que porra é essa, cara? Automatic sliding glass door that porra. opens up to the outdoors. And this is where we have the rock climbing wall. Now, Mike, porra. how many times did we see a rock climbing wall in a residential home? Caralho. Uh, have... Foda-se. I have yet to see, but I, I don't know why more people don't put them in because it's a great workout and it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And in case you're wondering how does it work, you have the rope right here attached to the uh, highest point of the rock wall. And you just put this harness that they have around the corner. We'll show it in a bit. And you just basically Se go up with these steps that they artificially created. So different, so unique. And we mentioned it earlier. It, it's all open because you can actually see it from the motor cart. And Mikey, this side is where we have the dining room. Also, they created this Zen environment here. On the left hand side, we have this built in planter design to just kind of bring more color to the space. Overall, very interesting, very unique. And we even have a fire pit design right here on the ground level. And that's pretty much it for the lower level. Now let's go back inside and check out the second floor. Segundo andar. Caralho, mané. All right, everyone, here we are. Ele não subiu. Canalha, não subiu. Mais um subzinho aí pra puxar o hype train. Vambora, hein? The second floor, we have four bedrooms here, including the primary bedroom suite. But the first thing I want to mention, as soon as you come up to the landing of the second floor, on the right-hand side, you see the amazing views of the Porra, valley. De novo, vai falar da vista. Vegas trip. It's phenomenal. The section is all open. That's the massive chandelier that we saw off of the entry. Beautiful wood paneled ceilings and following this walkway on our left hand side we have the primary bedroom which we're going to check out in a bit but first i want to take everybody here the first room on our left hand side is one of the bedrooms it's super spacious gets ton of natural Cara, light bonito, facing tá? the front of the home it is currently homem, homem Caralho. as the owner's office live? and focusing on this side we have a fireplace design here clad with marble wall continues all the way to the ceiling with a tile pattern and I really like what they did here with the open shelving. Estrinha. It's kind of angled, so it's just something different. Now, these sliding glass doors é open bem. up to the front and you can actually um see the top of the rock climbing wall Cara, from this side. Com isso. Around the corner, we have a full bathroom, of course, everything we need with a walk-in closet. And é isso, banheirinho, tá. This is another detail I really like. Obviously, you guys saw the great room, two-story ceilings, super spacious. And we have the second story windows there. Again, all focused towards the amazing views. I love the curvature on the roof line Caralho, there. Where they essa... even custom designed the windows for it. Pô, isso aqui é uma doideira do cacete, né? Massive ceiling fan right in the center. And to break up the flatness with these glass railings in two sections, they come up with these grid designs that look super cool and kind of futuristic. Now, following the hallway, we got couple more roofs to see on this level. Mikey, let's focus on this side. We have ton of built-ins. Again, nice storage space. At the end of the hallway, we got a good size laundry Boa, room, ver os washer dryer, sink set up, upper cabinet. Tem, tem pouca lava, lava roupa, hein? Tem pouca máquina de lavar roupa. Washer dryer, a little bit raised, so you don't have to bend down um, a lot for your back. Washer dryer, and I like it even more when they do that with dishwashers. Dishwashers, that's right. Yeah. All right. This room right here opens up to another spacious guest suite. Pô, eles gostam Same muito do ventilador, we né? First floor, they have it also here. We have the king size bed here, couple windows, curved ceiling detail, and focusing on this side, marble fireplace, beautifully clad, Cara. with a TV on top. Cara, essa família aqui de bilionários é excepcional. Muitas e muitas e muitas televisões, do jeito que eu gosto. Some open shelving, and Mikey, let's check out e? the bathroom. Again, they use the same marble here as well, created this gorgeous oh, hidden robô, sink design. Even the side walls are nicely clad. And over here, walk-in closet. And let me show this to everyone. Built-in tub set up. Again, oh, surrounded man. with the same marble, even the walls, right ahead it's above. Big, Beautiful fixtures. It's amazing, right? For sure. All right, let's get back out and continue our tour. We're done with the second guest suite on this Pô, level so far. Ali, né? De novo, At the cara. end of this tá hallway, we have another guest suite. It's probably the best guest suite behind the primary bedroom. Again, very spacious. Each one of these bedrooms gets a fireplace, clad with marble. Gastou todo o dinheiro antes, né, mano? 
the TV. I'm sure you guys Pô, saw the pattern. Não curti muito os quartos não, mano. From the first floor, a lot of TV. Eu acho que essa, essa cultura do quarto ter, ter tudo ali para você, eu, sei lá, eu acho que é nossa, porque lá fora eu vejo muito tipo assim, o quarto é o lugar para você dormir. Ponto. Tá ligado? Aqui no quarto a gente tem tudo junto, tá ligado? Porra toda, fazer tudo, tá ligado? Sei lá. Screens in this house. Hum, Ceiling fan above. King size bed. We're gonna check out the views in the bed. And I wanna show everybody this. We have a nice walk-in closet on this side. Não, eu sei que é das visitas, pô. Mas até, até das casas... É... Até dos principais em outras casas. Dá pra perceber que here. é um bagulho muito, tipo... Look at the size of this walk-in shower. É isso, this ponto. Insane. É pra dormir. And Caralho, again, é I'm just overwhelmed with how pristine every fixture and just walls and everything looks. All right, following here. Let's check this out. Of course, we have um, automatic doors. By the way, I have to mention this. Mikey, can we get a close-up? It is a weird angle to talk about this. Look at that plug. How it's beautifully recessed into the walls. All the plugs in this house are recessed into the drywall, meaning it sits flush. Even his uh, control panels and his uh, oh, pictures. I know you love those details. I love them. I love them. All right. Patio space for Olha the guest suite, or let's say for the second floor. Primary bedroom has its own suite, and we're going to talk about that in a bit. On the right-hand side, right at the edge, we have a pop-up TV. Of course, if you want to get that full outdoor experience. And I love Caralho, how aggressive this curved cara. roof line here. Surgindo de tudo que é lado, meu Deus. É muito bom. And this standing steam clad on the front. It just looks so futuristic and different. I mean, this is amazing. And Mikey, we got to show this. Let's look down to the first floor or the backyard of this property. We have the jets e aí você on, contempla feature, todo o seu domínio, né? right todo o seu, porra, o seu poder. Your nine hole miniature golf course. Perfect. We have the real golf course in front of it. Views of the Las Vegas Strip. And I must say, Vegas is growing on me a little bit. It's a little bit hot, but not, not all year, I guess. Well, three months, and then you get perfect weather for nine months. And I don't want to get started with the business side of things, but uh, no state income tax. You can't really beat that, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, we're back at the walkway, and now we're gonna check out the primary bedroom. Caralho, muito Overall, bonito. second floor Caralho. is very spacious. I love Pô, the ceiling heights muito here. Bonitas, and again, man. even from these walkways, we get the amazing views. Now we're back at the landing. That's the elevator access, and going through this pivot door, we access to the primary Aí bedroom. Show. We Aí have show. this front-facing balcony for the primary bedroom. Built-ins on this side, natural stone countertops. We have the fridge set up here, some open shelving. And as you guys can see, this section is actually not connected all the way to the ceiling because it is taking advantage of the natural light coming from this front-facing balcony and carries that into the bedroom. In fact, Thank let you. me wrap around and take everybody to the bedroom. We have a fireplace on the left-hand side, more built-ins, fridge with a small wet bar. And this is the time normally I would say king size bed on this side, but uh, this is not a king size bed. Que isso? This is a two king size bed connected together, which is just insane. It sits on this raised platform a little bit. Now there are a couple more details I would like to cover in this Pô. primary bedroom. Mikey, let's Aí é loucura. We have this massive opening here. Caralho. We have a skylight. Cool uh -huh. thing about that skylight is that it's automatic. So Ai, tu deu show, meu, meu bilionário. And literally look at the stars straight from your bed, or you can actually put the shade on it if you want to black out the room. Second detail... Se esse bilionário nunca transou no meio de uma chuvarada caindo em cima dele, ele é maluco. Louco! Se esse cara não transou no meio da chuva, depois falou... Oh, Mordomo, limpa aqui. Limpa aqui que molhou. Deu uma pane. Deu uma pane aqui. Molhou tudo. I don't know, uh. Mikey, if you can see it on the camera. Right above the bed, right in the center, Caralho. we have the projector. Because on this side, we have a drop-down screen where you can watch your TV, read it, and look tá at maluco. these amazing Olha views. Now, dele. let's open up these automatic Pô, tá sliding glass doors. But let's leave the balcony for a second. We're gonna go back to the room. No, that's the Suruba. Pô. Não tem jeito. Não tem now, before we wrap essa up, the bedroom da section, ele these fez, are the buildings that we saw earlier. Tudo. Hallway connects in. Mikey, you ready for this? That tem car de elevator de that we showed it to ah This is the Corvette. They brought it up to the second floor. It's all AC'd in here, which means 
straight from the entry, you can pull up to your elevator, park your car, come up to this level and go straight into your bed. This is crazy. Without a doubt, one of the most unique amenity uh, we've ever seen on this channel. All right, let's close the door. Caralho, That's it for the car elevator. Achei inútil, Back não? into the bedroom. Achei bem. Achei bem. And this door right here takes us to the primary bathroom. Now, get ready to see some unique details. And there are a lot of them in this bathroom. I'm gonna start here. First water closet, one of these fancy toilets that opens up as you go in. First vanity set up here, beautiful natural stone. But if you look closely, there's actually an elevated... Pô, às vezes tu tá cansadão, né? Tu estaciona ali, abre a porta, já cai na cama, né? Às vezes é, faz sentido, né? Glass countertops on top, which means you can always have that stone looking pristine. They frame the entire cabinetry with that stone. They have different tiles on the walls drop and sink design here, and even the mirrors on this side are ceiling mounted. Right next to that, we have the secondary vanity setup. Pretty yes, much the secundary. same finishes that we saw in the first one. Second water closet here with a urinal. Cara, essa quantidade absurda de mictório me ganhou, velho. Vou te falar. And following this hallway, we got a washer and dryer for the primary bathroom, because why not? It's a nice convenience. And, uh, I think I want to take the closet first. You have two islands, clad with Caraca. beautiful natural stone countertops Olha with the waterfall. Tá maluco, beautifully paneled in cabinets, some open shelving here. And even in this room, they protected that curvature on the ceiling. Uh, I just love the attention to detail and the craftsmanship in this house. Now, there are some more details that I want to mention here. We have more built-ins for the seating section. I have to get uh, one of these for my house. Two dry cleaning systems. Literally in a que day, isso? we're looking for uh, a new a place to live. He was like, wherever we move, I'm buying I mean, two of these. <laughs> I am. I'm sick of taking my suits and my clothes to dry cleaning. I mean, imagine having uh, two of those at your house. Cara, man, que doideira do cacete, man. Right I know, they're like, stop it now. <laughs> um, all right, towels are heated as well. Mas assim, you vocês sincero, porra, esse cara, se ele quiser lavar seco, a molhado, a porra toda, não importa, né? Ele só vai mandar. Pra ele, pro Enes pode ser, mas pro cara não. Up to the walk-in shower. Now, we haven't seen a walk-in shower like this ever. This is crazy because we have 53 shower heads in this walk-in shower. It's insane. Everywhere I look, I just see fixtures. And the crazy part about them is how good of a condition they are all in. Fully polished. These are your body sprays. Let's see. We have some waterfalls. Rain heads above, and even here, look at that ceiling with the recessed in lighting that carries out all the way to this wall. And in here, they did this bench ah, design. This is the second time. Pô, bagulho bonito do cacete, mano. We're seeing this. We saw it at another house in LA mm -hmm. with the sprayers on top, um, steam, of course, center drain. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this is Mais um local para transar. I mean, I would like to just stand right in the middle of this thing né? with 53 shower heads pointed at me. That sounds great. It's amazing, right? Yeah. And I know I want to take everybody out, but Mikey, we got to come back inside. We forgot one detail. We didn't forget, but we could have probably taken that better route. We have the freestanding tub here, right next to the walk-in shower. Eu acho que eu caibo aqui. Um, look at this thing. Eu acho que eu caibo. One piece of stainless steel with the Aço jet. So this thing is definitely leak proof. I love the chrome fixtures, another towel heater, skylight above. This is a full experience. And I love how they Bolado, hein? the vanity design with the ceiling mount mirror, because you can actually see kind of both ends, makes the space feel a little bit more spacious. Caralho, Overall, faço, just the awesome inviting uh, primary bathroom with the views, of course. Yeah. But now Mikey, actually we can do it from here. So let's see. I think Before this one is manual. Before you move on, though, I have to say yes. one more thing about this bathroom. Listen. We have ceiling tub fillers as yes. well. Yes, I forgot. We have ceiling tub fillers. But what I like about these ceiling tub fillers, the ones you've seen in LA land in a flat tub, right? They splash everywhere. True, true, true. But if you look at the inside of this tub. You got your curves. You have curves. So those things turn on, and they're lined up perfectly with those curves, so Caralho. it doesn't splash everywhere. It dampens the water, so yeah. it actually fills it gently. Now that's a detail right there. That is a detail, Mikey. Good one. Good Caralho one. Caralho right. So that walk-in shower and this section... Oh, te falar. Eles estão me convencendo, mania. ...have sliding glass doors pocketing into the walls because 
we have this crazy primary bathroom outdoor shower here. Mikey, we gotta show this just so everybody can connect. This is the door right here, straight from the walk-in shower. And uh, it's insane. Look at the rain heads above us. We have body sprays everywhere, chrome fixtures, built-in bench design get here, huh? natural light coming in. Overall, very impressive. We have two massage chairs here. And just like that uh, first floor, main floor, balcony or the outdoor patio space we have a screen detail here so you can kind of close this section off also space heaters and three skylights i'm sorry i how did i forget that detail yeah incredible, muito detalhe incredible. Absurdo, i'm speechless now we are at the primary bedroom balcony it is super spacious you have your seating section here with a tv and a fireplace of course this is probably the hundredth time I'm mentioning the views, but you guys get the point. You have the whole strip in front of you, super peaceful, in a gated community, and primary bedroom. Caralho, tem mais uma jacuzzi, moleque. Caralho, eu tenho a impressão que, tipo assim, é que vai demorar, sei lá, cinco meses pra conhecer tudo na casa, moleque. Gets his own Caralho. hot tub. Now, what I love about this hot tub is that it's all stainless steel, so this thing is leak proof. Aí eu ia caber. Aí eu, aí sim. And it has a glass so take advantage of the views a little bit more. And uh, what a great place to just sit down, you know, in your hot tub, Nossa. look at these views and... Olha I mean, isso, moleque. It's just so impressive. Now, here's another cool detail about the primary bedroom. You may be thinking, Enes, why are these lounging chairs that are facing the bedroom, not the views? Because that drop-down screen detail that we talked about earlier. So if you want to watch TV facing the bedroom and the projector flips the image, so you can see it from this side. Yeah. We need to roll some B-roll <laughs> on that one. That's, uh, yeah, that's an <laughs> intricate one to talk about. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, what else? I want to keep talking about some Entendi. of the details of the home, but 300 solar panels above. Amazing like views. Trezentos. What can I say? I'm just so impressed. This home is so custom and so bespoke, and I think owners did a great job. No, I think I understand, but I don't understand correctly. Really to their taste. With Caralho, that, that's pretty much it for our tour, de... but of course we're going to spend a few more hours here ali, for the sun to go down, fome. so we can see this place. Mostra agora. Caralho, tá maluco. Eu achei que ele ia mostrar como funcionava a TV, mano. Pô, acho que essa... Acho que essa foi a melhor... Não, essa não foi a melhor, não, mano. Aquela que tem a quadra do, do Kobe é, é muito pica, mano. Fire pit, car elevator, and the list goes acho que on essa and é on um, and on. Ela é um top 3. I know the current owner, Mark, really enjoyed living here. He, he still does. And I'm pretty sure the next owner will não, enjoy essa this também place tem, just sim. as much. And as always, we will leave more information Caralho, about the lá, property mano. and the property link down in the description of this video. Lastly, before we end this tour, I want to thank the owner, Mark, and the listing agent, Ivan Cher, for getting us in here, allowing Moleque, us to tour this amazing loucura. property and share it with all of you. And lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week. Pode mandar a chave Pix, pai. Caralho! Tá doido, pô. Tá maluco. Tá maluco, pô. Cara, essa foi pica.